You're going to get an experience when you walk through the doors here. I think you're, you're going to get great food, you're going to get great service, and you're going to get great ambience. The food's kind of the foundation of any restaurant. If you don't have good food, then people may visit the restaurant once or twice, but they may not come back a third time. So to me, the food is the utmost importance in this place. We try to be a steakhouse for the, the new wave, so to speak. Um, so we offer all the steaks that you'll get in the traditional Chicago Steakhouse format. Um, and then also we have a very eclectic menu full of a lot of seafood. We have a pretty diverse crowd here. Earlier in the week, we may get a little more uh, older of a clientele. And then on the weekends, we get a little bit of a younger clientele that's coming in here to have some good food and have a good time. And then maybe head up to the ghost bar for some after dinner drinks. When you set out to do something like we did here, we've always kept it in, in, in close view of, of what we're actually doing, that we want to provide great food, great service, and exciting room for people to come and visit in, that you never let your standards drop that you set. And that's what I think we've done here at night. All right, well, Lisa, we don't find too many places like Nine in the city, so tell us what you like about it. Well, Nine is just a great place. It's kind of like going on vacation but staying in Chicago. It's taking South Beach and Los Angeles and New York City and combining it all into the downtown area. From the outside, you might miss nine, you might drive right by it, but when you go in, the lights and the decor, the ambiance, it's just amazing. They have not left anything untouched in, untouched in there, including the bathrooms. They have movies playing in there. And the food on top of the ambiance is just incredible. The menu is Pretty simple, but everything is just magnificent. All right, now Bob, you had a little bit of a different <laughs> take on the whole. Uh, I think if you're in your 20s or 30s and you're looking for a hip happening, I, I, I kind of describe it like a oh, Disney. Come on, you look hip and happening. A, a Disney-like experience. <laughs> um, then this is exactly the place you want to go. Um, it's the decor, um, as Lisa points out, is impeccable. It's exciting. It's flash. Um, it's just that when I visited there, I was looking for a dining, more, a, a more traditional dining experience, I guess. Um, in fact, uh, the couple that I was with the evening we, we dined there at one point in the meal, and this is about 10 o'clock-ish, looked at each other and said, I think we're the oldest people in the room. <laughs> and um, it tends to be, uh, because of its electric, it's a, it's a little louder. Um, I, I tended to get into like yelling to my guests across the table because it gets loud in there. It's almost like an anomaly, and it's, it's interesting that it's when we talk about restaurants, we want to talk about the food and the chefs and everything That's going a on. But, this but is it's, a playground. It's the right. people, it's a right. playground. And but see, probably my tactic, which is my usual tactic for dining out, especially at places which tend to be popular and kind of trendy, is to go early and on a weekday. And it turned worked uh, like a charm. Uh, the wait staff had nothing to do at the time, so they were very attentive. Yeah. And uh, Sam, you probably didn't have the problem with the noise because you were no, there earlier. Was there. Was no, that's that's, that's exactly why we that's went early so. because I wanted to be able to focus on the things that I care about, which is a little friendly batter with mm -hmm. the wait staff. But it's funny how that, right. what time you go it to a restaurant, right. right. which day of the week you go, right. definitely right. alter right. Mm -hmm. the, the entire The thing experience. that I thought was really, you guys are the target demographic, aren't you? Not I mean, me. I, I'm, I'm, oh, you're with me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> closet <laughs> socialist. I, I'm, on a, I'm on a fixed income. I work for the city. I, they are not targeting me. But uh, I don't mind spending whatever it is if I'm going to have a great time. Mm -hmm. and I'll tell you this. Do I Did you enjoy the food there? Or you just um, actually, I had an interesting food experience, too. I, I, I had a, ordered up a filet, and uh, I've never had a filet. I'm a beef eater, and I've never had a filet in my life that had fat in it. And I got like two thirds through, the, through my steak, and I'm going, I know I ordered this thing medium rare. I know I did. That's so surprising uh, that's to me. That's different. My girlfriend ordered the same thing you did, and she thought it was wonderful. 
She thought it was right. great. My she husband really, also had the flu. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I that that followed having my the glass, the extra wine glass that was sitting at our table. When because it's it's <laughs> it's loud in there, they cue visually, and mm -hmm. the server for your entree was looking at another per, another one of the other wait staff and proceeded to knock the oh. knock the glass and smash it all over the edge and the, on the uh. floor. It was bad. It was she like didn't have to know exactly. Bombs, sure, sure. They did, and they yeah. recovered. They recovered well. I, I can't I can't fault them for that. And maybe it was just a bad night. Um, you know, I, I don't know. All right, so Lisa, tell us everything that you ate when you were at nine. Okay, for appetizers, we had oysters on the half shell, which were extremely mm. fresh, probably the best oysters I've ever had, and fried calamari, which can't go wrong there. Um, for my main course, I had penne, which had chicken and some vegetables in it. And then for dessert, we had a warm almond cake, which was exquisite. And Bob? I had the lobster bisque, I had the filet, um, they do a very unusual thing. They give you plates and everything so that when you order sides, you can share them conveniently and don't have to embarrass yourself by reaching over. That's a point to be made. I like that a lot. It was really convenient. Um, I, we had the asparagus. We had uh, some garlic potatoes, um, which were really good. And um, we also had, they, they almost like puree gazpacho. Their gazpacho was to die for, too. It was like, wow. Like I say, I don't want to get people to get the impression. I mean, I had some interesting experiences along the way, some bumps right. in the road. But, um, but by, by and large, again, if, if you're the right dem target demographic for this place, it's, yeah. you, get, you get a good meal. And Sam, you actually tried uh, something that they're known for, which are those little tuna tartare cones. Oh, yeah, those are good. <laughs> I've never had anything like that before. Uh, what I really liked was the lobster with avocado. Uh, that was excellent. Really enjoyed that. And we also ordered. Uh, Blini with uh, smoked salmon, and I think there was some caviar and, and creme fraiche on it. That's a very classic combination. Uh, wonderful. And for dinner, I had the Atlantic grouper with escarole and beans and bacon. Uh, I have, yeah, that was good fish. <laughs> very good fish. All right, well, Lisa, you're at the head of the class with nine, so why don't you give us a summary of it? Um, if you're looking for a fun night, getting away from Chicago but not going too far, I would definitely suggest nine. It's a great time, fun people, good food and you can stay afterwards and have an even better time. All right, Bob, your turn. 20s, 30s, a uh, little pricey, food's uh, very acceptable. Um, I had a bump in the road, but you know, you'll have those. Um, be prepared to spend some money, but prepare to have, be prepared to have fun, because it is a fun, you have to absolutely say, it's, it's got a very Disney-like experience. <laughs> and for you? Oh, uh, I have nothing bad to say. The food was excellent. If you don't mind going early, if you like eating dinner early and you don't drink a lot, you won't spend too much money and you'll have a wonderful time. The place is beautiful. We well, can check out the scene over at 9 at 440 West Randolph Street in Chicago, 312-575-9900. They're open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday. They're only open for dinner on Saturday nights and closed on Sundays. Reservations are recommended there and the average tab per person is about $55 to $65. Thank you.